Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Control, and in this video I'm going to show you all of the available outfits in the game. You can see them on screen, there's a total of seven of them, and I'll also teach you how to grab them. A couple of them are just kind of given to you as you make progress through the campaign, but some of them involve quite a few steps, especially that golden suit at the bottom of the list. So we'll go through each one, I'll show you gameplay of each one, and I'll teach you how to grab the ones that have a couple of extra steps associated to them as well. There is no achievement or trophy related to grabbing all of these, but I think most people are going to want to try a couple of these out. And I know a lot of people are searching for this info, so here it is. We'll start off the video with the civilian suit, which is very obvious. This is the one you start the game out with and the one that you'll have automatically equipped at the very start of the game. This is the default outfit for Jesse. The next outfit is called Candidate P7, and this one is found automatically as you make progress through the campaign. This is unlocked right around mission 6 when you reach the prime candidate program sector in the containment area of the game. You'll basically unlock it automatically once you reach a certain part of the story. We then take a look at the office assistant outfit. This one is attained as you go through the story. You'll eventually reach a part where you are given some things to do in the oldest house. After you complete those office duties, you'll find this outfit before beating the game. The next one we'll showcase is called the Director's Suit, very similar to the civilian suit you started the game with at the very beginning. However, your hair is now tied up into uh, an updo of sorts, and this one is unlocked just for completing the game and automatically given to you. We are now getting into some of the slightly cooler ones that require a specific thing to be done. This one is called the Asynchronous Suit, and you'll have to first get to a point of the story where you have clearance level 6. Then what you'll want to do is go to the research sector and look for an area called the Synchronicity Lab. Once you go inside, you will find a room with a mirror, and this room will give you a mission called Self-Reflection. Once you complete that mission, you can go back to the synchronicity room nearby and you will find the costume in the first room on the left on a mannequin and then you'll be able to acquire that suit from the mannequin. Or I guess it's technically a crash test dummy. Nonetheless, here is a little bit of gameplay using the asynchronous suit. Next up we have what I think is probably the coolest outfit in the game and that is the janitor's assistant. Personally I did this one after completing the game, although you may be able to do it earlier. It's in the maintenance sector, the map is unfortunately not loading as it often doesn't in this game. I, I use the fast travel point near ventilation and I'm going to run over to the janitor's office. 
And once I'm there, I can find a cork board with some notes on it on things to do. And this will start a side mission called What a Mess. After I complete these five things, I can come back and then I'll be given the uh, task of taking a rest. And after you go and interact with the sofa nearby and take a short nap, you will wake up and be granted the janitor's outfit. And as I always do, there will be some gameplay of the outfit in action before we hop on to the final suit, the golden suit. Last but not least, we have the golden suit, which can be found inside of the research sector in a room called Luck and Probability, requiring at least level 5 clearance. Now, you may have entered this room multiple times throughout your time in the game, as I did, and you've noticed that there are a ton of different things to interact with, and you need to interact with things in a certain way in order to get a certain number to show up on the roulette table. Now there are a bunch of clues all over, including whiteboards and probably 15 or so things you can interact with. And the number we're aiming for on the roulette table is the number seven. So as you can see here, I've already brought in the giant golden fish into this room and you can inspect the roulette table at any time to spin and see what number shows up on the screen and inspect the chips to notice that they are stacked on the number seven. Let me show you what we did here in order to grab it. You'll notice that there is a four-leaf clover here. We're going to interact with it. We'll come back to it, actually. But we're going to leave the room and start on the outside. Each of these things can be interacted with. So the first thing we're going to do is there's a plant right here. And we're going to make sure the plant does not have the four-leaf clover. Then what we're going to do is go over to the cat. And the cat has two states. You want him to be in the state as shown on screen which means that the cat paw should be moving. Next up, what we're gonna do is run over into this area over here, and you'll notice that there is a Newton's Cradle with the balls, and you want to make sure that it is active and that the balls are hitting each other from left to right. Then we have the horseshoe, and you want the opening of the shoe to face up. I wanted to originally say like right way up, but I guess upside down and right way up would be kind of confusing. You want the opening near the top. And then additionally here, there is another cradle near an elephant. You want that one to not be moving. Now head inside the room with the roulette table and plant the four leaf clover and make sure you have the golden fish with you. I already have it sitting there on the red carpet. Next up, you want to turn on all of the lamps on all of the desks in the room. At this point, you should be able to go up to the roulette table and notice that your chips are stacked on the number 7. Then what you want to do is spin the roulette wheel and look at the monitor nearby. What we're trying to do is get the number 7 here, and if done correctly, you will unlock the suit. You may have to move the fish around and walk around as it's spinning in order to make sure that the 6 becomes a 7. In some cases, it can be a little bit finicky. As soon as that monitor displays a 7, you will unlock the outfit. Then you can go to any control point and equip it. And here is a little bit of gameplay to finish off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful and you found it entertaining. Hopefully you now have all the suits in control and you can play around with them. And who knows, maybe one day we'll get a title update with some achievements and trophies for grabbing all of them. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you soon. Special thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Double O. And I'll see you soon. Peace.